Yeah, we're out here today in the freezing cold because Reed has actually sold the brown car behind me. Um, it's sad because we love this car, but it's exciting because it's actually going to a homie of ours who's been on this channel before. I won't say who it is, so it can still be a surprise when he posts it up that he's got it. We don't really have a game plan for what this video is or what we're gonna do. Like I said, like the conditions aren't ideal. It's like below freezing outside, it's already dark. You know, there's snow in the forecast for tomorrow, but it is one of Reed's last days with the car. So we just wanted to get out here with cameras, mics, and drive around, film some audio of it. You know, last time we posted a video on the noise that Reed's car makes, the internet was pretty divided. Like half the people loved the way it sounded, half the people didn't like the way it sounded at all. So we figured we may as well actually run a proper mic and get some exhaust audio clips, and then you can be the judge of whether, you, whether or not you like the way the 7M that he's built sounds. Um, it's also exciting because it's taken us like a year and a half of talking to get this car and Keith's car in the same parking lot together. Um, we're gonna do a full feature on Keith's Cresta at some point, but uh, it's important to us to get both of these cars together because these dudes are homies and yeah, they support each other and everything they build, so yeah. In a few days it'll be like seven years that I've owned it. I think, I think that's what I saw. Cars come and go, I don't know. Like yeah, obviously like, I'll, I'll, I'll miss it. I will definitely miss it, but I'm ready to move on. I've been ready to move on for a little while, so. Yeah, we're just hanging out, taking some photos of these cars, looking around for a spot around here that's kind of like dead enough that we can swing them around and they'll feel comfortable. I mean, these aren't drift cars, they're not like race cars. They just are low and have welded diffs and manuals and they do donuts together and it's a non serious thing. Cresta here has got to be one of my favorite cars of this style, of this era locally. I mean, I'm a big details guy. I love cars with lots of small details that keep you visually stimulated while you're looking at them. And this car is like crack for that. Like from the light up uh, speaker covers to like the exhaust, the trinkets, the way the interior is set up, things like the wing or the side skirts, like it just pulls a lot of different design elements all together to create one really visually stimulating experience. And I think that's what makes Kaido racers so exciting and all the different varieties of Kaido racers. Um, speaking of which, if you're interested in learning more about Kaido racers, you don't know what the right terminology is for things or you just want to learn more about that culture, go to www.kaidoracer.com. That's our friend Brian from Portland's like website and he's doing an excellent job helping people get a better understanding of what Kaido racers are, what they aren't, and what the right terminology is, and as well as like just plugging in places where you can learn more about this culture of uh, automobiles. So yeah, check out that, that website, it's super sweet. Our, yeah. our video, New Year's Touring, is on there. I think some of our other touring videos are on there as well, which is rad. So yeah, if you're interested in not calling this stuff Bozozoku anymore, which is wrong, and beginning to call it Kaido racers, and learning all the rest of the, you know, the libraries of terminology for what things are and aren't, you should definitely check out KaidoRacer.com and you should definitely go watch uh, the Moonlight Runners YouTube channel as well.
backdrop now. Is that the whole roll of paper? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is going to look awesome in the background. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing just started unloading like a roll of TP. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so stupid. Here, do you want me to lower this down? Get it even? Yeah, sure. We didn't bring a clothing rack to our inventory shoot. <laughs> oh my god. Do yeah. we have hangers? No. <laughs> we don't. Right. Alright, I'm running it. Okay, um, it's been about a month since we filmed all the footage that you just watched of Reed saying farewell to his Budame. Um, and because it's been such a long time, what I said about it being a surprise for who bought it doesn't really hold up anymore. They've already posted about it on Instagram. So yeah, Ben Johnson from Grudge Tenoshi is the new owner of that car, which is super exciting because, I mean, as you've seen on our channel and on Moist Boys, like Ben's awesome. All the cars that he builds are sweet. Uh, he actually traded Reed a really cool Z10 Soar, and I'll get Dylan to put a picture of that in here. Um, and that car is awesome as well. I mean, Ben did a nice job getting that thing tightened up when he got in from Japan and I'm sure Reed's gonna make it super cool as well. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching that section of the video. Tonight we're actually at Serial 9 because they've uh, very graciously let us use their shop space to do all of our inventory tonight. We've got a new drop of Japanese goods that are gonna be coming really shortly. Uh, if you're watching this video, that actually means they're already on our website and they're all posted up, but they're not active yet. So go over there and check that out. Um, see if there's anything you're interested in scooping and then uh, keep an eye on our Instagram or even even the description of this video where I'll be posting all the details as to uh, when, like what day, what time, and how our drop's gonna work. So uh, yeah, we'll, um, we're gonna be doing our inventory tonight. We're gonna to pull out anything that we think is super sweet. And then at the end of the night, we're gonna film a couple quick shots of all this inventory that we think is the coolest. So yeah, tune in. Come on, Jake, give me a leap. Give me a leap. No, a leap. A leak? We got a bunch of new air fresheners. What, what, what do these smell like? This one's uh, marine squash. This one is black ice for all you black ice lovers. And then this one is Chanel. All right, we got some sick lights this time around. Uh, everything from our standard pat lights and star markers right down to like this old taxi light that we got from like a legit <laughs> Japanese taxi. Um, don't know if that's your thing or not, but if you're looking for authentic Japanese taxi parts, we've got you. We've actually got another light as well. Uh, super weird. We actually saw this in a Noriaro video, and I immediately looked it up after to try to find it. Uh, it was in some old, like, uh, kind of like, uh, Shako Tan, maybe Kaido Racer car. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just kid plugs into the cigarette lighter. It lights up. It's kind of, it's real old school. It's light. So it's got different colors. It's got red. It's got like a warm white and then it's also got a light underneath which is like really funny and yeah like that arm is like it bends so you can like set it any which way you want cigarette ashtray right and you can see where you're fucking ashing your cigarette the light underneath it right so that's brilliant yeah so you can light up your ashtray that's all yes. you all you smokers out there we got a ton of steering wheels all different styles and uh different conditions so check on our website we'll have every single one of those listed there we've also got a ton of new shift knobs mainly just like the bubble style ones, so check those out too. This one is super cool. It's like an old uh, Impul racing jacket, like a finish on it. It's like really crazy. Feels super nice and it's huge. I think that's probably, I think this is probably my favorite one out of the whole drop. Tom's racing jacket. Uh, very cool. The finish on it is extremely nice. It feels like it's definitely waterproof. Um, very cool. In the back, yeah, nice graphic. Sick. Paddington Bear, drowning. Drowning? Or getting dragged into the ditch I'm by, kidding, by but it. you know, if you like yellow, you like smoking cigarettes, you like staying dry <laughs> from the rain, this is the one for you. Uh, authentic oh, Nismo okay. jackets, which is sweet. Uh, this one is beautiful. It's an old Calsonic jacket. Um, it's super duper shiny. Yeah, it's blowing up the lens. Wow! Yeah, this one's sweet. Wow! Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Are kidding me? Look at this. Smoke. Smoke. Yes! Smoking Joe's. Are you Joe? Mega Honda jacket. Honda Ultraman. Super sick. It's got like the, uh, what's that Sherpa. called? Fleece Sherpa hood. The whole thing is lined. It'll keep you super warm. 
We need that here in Canada. And like the back has a really cool print on it as well. Ultraman. We figured we'd keep this video a bit shorter just so we wouldn't bore you with like every single item and us talking about them all. But uh, if you're interested in seeing what we have, it's on the website right now, so go check it out. Uh, and then the drop will be coming pretty soon. So stay tuned for details. Um, follow us on Instagram. That's the main place where we post about this kind of stuff. And uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Let's stick this fucking mic on. A lot of people have asked who our supplier is for stickers. We make them. Usually like, I'll start with tin foil, a couple lug nuts. This is pretty much like how we get all the designs on the, uh, the stickers. Ball it up. Usually I like to put it on pizza. That usually makes the best designs to each their own. And now it's making the numbers. That should do it. Oh yeah, look at that. Go check our website, checkpointjapan.com. Is that right? Yeah.